These are comments I'm going to make regarding the iterated prisoner's dilemma. Uh, the comments that I make are my own, uh, and uh, they may or may not be the best way of looking at this game, but I am trying to help students who may be confused uh, as to the application of this game in ethics courses. So I'm going to discuss uh, what I'm going to call the Kantian strategy, the egoism or egoist strategy, tit for tat, and the uh, faker. So, uh, let's look at the uh, game interface. Uh, you are playing against uh, your partner, who they call Lucifer, but you have to think of this in terms of it being a partner in crime. Uh, the police have captured both of you, and you don't know what the other one's going to do. The description of the prisoner's dilemma is, of course, provided at the site, so you should read that. Uh, you'll notice that uh, you have two choices. Cooperate, meaning uh, the way I like to think of it, stay true to your partner in crime. Uh, kind of, uh, presumably you've made some sort of promise that if you're both caught that you won't uh, rat on the other person, you won't defect in other words, uh, that you'll cooperate with your partner. The other choice you have is of course to defect. Now notice that the uh, police have set this up so that um, you get the best reward, what the game shows is five points if you defect. So they are tempting you, trying to draw you away from this idea that uh, uh, criminals ought to stick together. Uh, of course, this doesn't just apply to uh, crime situations. It applies to every kind of social cooperation. That's uh, really uh, Gauthier's point. Uh, if you have a situation where you're supposed to be sharing efforts in a community, uh, there may be a temptation on some, by some people to defect from the community, to not cooperate with others, and try to get something for uh, their own gain. So, uh, let's look at the game interface itself, uh, what we can do is select uh, an action to get the game started. Uh, this one already had uh, some points on it, so I'm going to reset that. Just scroll down, reset everything, reset all, go back up, everything is zero. Now, you're in the interrogation room, you're being asked whether or not you did it, uh, and whether or not you want to implicate your partner in the crime. So, I'm going to start off with a strategy uh, that's the Kantian strategy. I call it Kantian strategy. That means I am going to remain true to my partner in crime. That means I'm always going to cooperate with him. So I will never defect. So I start off cooperating. Uh, it turns out he did too. He kept the trust and we both score three points. Cooperate again. Remember these are separate crimes each time. I keep going, 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 and eventually it looks like as long as I don't try to deviate from my strategy, it looks like uh, my partner is not going to deviate either. So you can continue on in this. I'm not going to continue it for you. I'm just going to show you, show you the strategy, but you notice that neither person is getting ahead. Now, if that upsets you, let's reset it you might want to play a game where you're trying to get ahead. So, let's look at that. That was the egoist, or the strategy of egoism. So the first thing I want to do is try to get away with something, right? So, uh, my partner's being interrogated, but I'm going to defect. Looks like that was a good choice. I get five points. So, there's another iteration, another crime is committed, we both get caught, same deal all over again, but since I'm an egoist, I always defect. And I will just continue. So once I've chosen a strategy, I'm going to stay true to it. And I will just continue on, and that it looks like, if I just keep going, it looks like I may win this game. Now the game will self-terminate, uh, if you, you know, get uh, bored, but just keep clicking if you want to run the game out to its, the end and it will terminate by itself at some point. Let's see if we can make it terminate. Okay, so I got 75, Lucifer got 50. Um, my outcome rating is 27% of the optimum that I could have made. So that's not very good actually, even though I beat uh, Lucifer. Lucifer's outcome rating is 18%. The mutual outcome rating is 37%. You want to keep track of these when you get these results because what you're aiming for 
is either to beat this uh, your opponent if you're an egoist or to try to get the highest mutual outcome rating. Now there are ways to play this game where you get 100 percent. So I'm not going to uh, give you all the strategies here but um, it's possible. And it also depends on what uh, Lucifer is doing. So you don't know what strategy Lucifer is employing. Each time you reset the game, uh, there is a, a reset of the Lucifer strategy. Now, uh, if you want to know what strategies are and what some of the uh, strategies that Lucifer might be using, you can look at these uh, strategy definitions. And this uh, brings up one that I mentioned. Oh, I can't move the... Oh yeah. Here we go. The uh, tit for tat. Repeat opponent's last choice. We're going to get to that. So let's move this window back. And close that down. Okay. So let's move on to the tit for tat. Now, I'm going to start off uh, cooperating, but if Lucifer takes a different path, I'm going to repeat what he did. Think of it as a communal interaction. You are cooperating with people in your community, and that ke as long as that keeps going, you're not going to try to pursue your own self-interest. If someone uh, messes up and doesn't fulfill their end of the bargain, then you start not fulfilling your, end, uh, your side as well. So, the first choice in this strategy is to cooperate. Okay, so the other side cooperates, so you do that again and again. Okay, whoops, I missed one here. It looks like uh, I went too fast. So, what I should have done is uh, when, as soon as he didn't cooperate, I should have defected. So that's why you can't play this game too fast. I'm going to leave that in here. <laughs> uh, you know, that just shows you don't play the game too fast. So let's uh, defect here. Oh, I gained some points. Lucifer cooperated and became a sucker. So since he cooperated, now I'm following tit, -tit, -tit for tat now, I will cooperate. Lucifer chose to defect. Okay, tit for tat, I'm defecting. Lucifer cooperated. All right, I'll cooperate. He chose to defect. I'll defect. He cooperated. He chose to defect. Notice you just repeat whatever it is that he did. And look, we're even now. He cooperated, so I'm cooperating. He's defecting, so I'm defecting. Cooperating, defecting. Cooperating, defecting. All right, uh, he's just slightly ahead. So that's how you play uh, tit for tat. Uh, I suggest you go through and just uh, play a whole game out and see how it goes. Let's uh, reset and uh, play another game. This is the faker. This is the last one I want to show you. All right, the faker. Always start uh, in my uh, definition of the faker with uh, cooperate and try to discern what the other one is doing. He's cooperating. So I'm going to cooperate again. Okay, he's cooperating. It looks like maybe I got him into a zone here. See, look, he's cooperating. What I'm going to try to do is trip him up. Uh-oh, I didn't act fast enough. He chose to defect. Okay, what should I do now? I'll cooperate. And he also cooperated. I'll cooperate one more time. All right, but now I'm going to defect. I don't know exactly what his strategy is, but it looks like maybe I could get that five points. Now, in the the faker is sort of uh, an egoist, willing to give up some points, willing to cooperate or defect, but really just trying to figure out what the other side is doing so that you can trip them up. So I'm going to defect. Aha! Okay, so now we're even. Um, I'll leave it to you to take over a game like this and you can see 
uh, what it gets you. All right, that's the end of my uh, little uh, demo, and I hope you enjoyed it.